Today I'm out in the auxiliary pain cave. There's not enough room to do what I need indoors there, so I'm out here in the shed. The flooring in here is solid concrete and it's pretty echoey in here. Inside I use marine flooring with a rubber backing so it runs throughout the whole room itself and protects everything. Out here, I needed something different. So I've gone and got myself a kicker power trainer floor mat, floor mat or floor mat, depending on how you Google search for what it's all about. And uh, I'm gonna lay it down out here. But I thought while I was at it, we'll look into the specs of something as simple as a floor mat and what it can do. For products that have been on sale for a while, I usually jump online and dive through both the specs and the customer reviews to see what the general vibe is about, well, something as simple as a floor mat. Let's have a look at the specs first over here on the Wahoo website. Um, $109 Australian, that's a, I'd say premium price range. Features water resistant, anti-slip texture, noise insulating and safety bevel edge. Well, I think the first three we can check pretty easily. So water resistant, we can have a look at that. Anti-slip, yeah, we can make sure we don't fall over on it. Noise insulating, that's what we've got set up today. I've got a, uh, an audio program over here on the phone and we'll do some tests at different sound levels. So we'll see if it really is noise insulating and this is the perfect environment to test it for. Um, and safety bevel edge. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna test a safety bevel edge, but if I don't fall over, let's tick that box today. So diving into the user reviews and comments, which is where the real user experience lies with products out in the market. Uh, skipping over the five star ones, I, we expect a mat to be a mat and do mat like things. But I found this gem here, not flat. This mat is still curling. I wish this mat would lie flat. It's basically failing as a mat. You had one job. I think that's actually a fair assessment. I've unraveled a few of these mats at Zwift events and they just don't sit flat out of the box. There's a few things we need to do first before they sit level with the ground. To cover off the specifications of the mat itself, 36 inches by 78 inches. Um, in, I guess, practical terms, it means it covers everything under your bike while it's on the trainer. Six mil thick, water resistance, some sort of PVC. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this does not support Ant Plus or Bluetooth. I don't think it needs it. It's just a mat. So for the sound test today, I have an iPhone 6 sitting over here. It's running a decibel meter app and then everything else is measured in spots. So we'll keep everything the same in this room and the only thing different is we'll put the mat under the trainer and then we'll take some sound tests again. First thing to do to unbox these, as mentioned in that real world user review that it didn't sit flat, here's a trick I learned from the guys at the Zwift events. If you've got your original box, first of all, we'll open this up. You can see it's a tight roll. It really is a hard mat that's really curled up. So what we do is we roll it the other way. And all going to plan, you can still fit it back in the box, wrapped the other way. Got it. Oh, that, hang on. Much better. You can see now it's bending itself back the other way, which makes it a lot flatter when we unravel it the next time. After reverse rolling the mat, we leave it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. So that gives me enough time to get kitted up and get my first five minute test with the sound without the flooring down. So now we're up and running. Had a bit of a battle of Bluetooth then. Bluetooth doesn't like to share. I've got Zwift iOS running here, and I have the Wahoo Fitness Utility app here running erg mode. So I'm sitting on 200 watts, 90 RPM. I'll now flick on the sound meter over here. We'll have a look at the noise this thing's generating. I have to be within reaching range of it so when I clip in, it doesn't affect the data. So we'll clear this. Start off now. Sixty nine point nine, and it sustained really, really nicely there. So I think we'll get some good data for the next test. The challenge for me is to put everything back in exactly the same spot in this room because it's all relative just to this room. So your mileage will definitely vary. 
based on the environment that you're in, but we'll see what we can do. I've got everything measured up. We'll put the floor mat down, we'll get it nice and flat, and we'll do the exact same test in the exact same erg mode. The position of the kicker and the bike between here and here has been measured. So it's time to lift this thing up and put the mat down, put it back into the exact same spot, and the same sound tests over here from that iPhone. So with the opposite roll and pulling it out of the bag, it sits nice and flat through here, except this little part here. I think we can shortcut this with a little trick. So here's the trick, a hairdryer. It's obviously not mine. Perfect solution. Now, Veronica doesn't know I've used her hairdryer for that task, so I don't think she'll be watching this video. Shh, it's our secret. Not a lot of difference there in this environment here. 69.9 without the floor mat on, 69.3.4 hovering with the floor mat down. So it was a little bit, and it was measurable. So we got a bit of difference there, but I really couldn't tell with my ears. Hard, solid floor here and sound bouncing around the walls. Probably not the best environment to test it, but that's my results right there. I think if you had floorboards or anything where you need to protect the floor, or if you have a floor you don't want to sweat all over, you've got to get yourself a mat, be it one of these or something that's waterproof. Um, one thing else we had to test was the um, anti-slip. Let's give that a shot. Okay, tick that box. Uh, waterproof, I haven't sweated too much on this yet, but it looks pretty waterproof to me. And uh, safety, I haven't tripped over. And it's definitely worth about 15 watts for style points as well. If you have a Wahoo Kicker and you match it up with a Wahoo Kicker mat with all the logos and stuff, it makes the pain cave photos for Instagram look really, really good. So my take overall, it's a premium product for $110 Australian. If there's any sales on at your local bike store that they can throw this mat in with a trainer purchase, you're having a good day. Grab that and uh, run with it. Put the mat down and protect your flooring. Okay, we'll leave it there. I've got another 20 or 30 Ks to go on here. We shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. And that's a pass for the waterproof test.